You know, everything seems to happen in the Dales from plane crashes to horrific storms. No disaster is too big a drama for Emmerdale. But have you ever wondered what lies behind the bar in the Woolly or what the Dingles really have lurking in their sink? Well, when Expose got a chance to snoop around the sets of the hit soap, we thought it rude not to. Here's the second part of our Access All Areas Emmerdale. Now, Home Farm, if you think Home Farm is big, then check out this set, because it's actually not that big. But one nice thing is, if you pan your camera all the way down there, you see how big that is? That looks three times bigger when you see it on Emmerdale for real. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. So let's go down here and have a look. A lot of these chairs, there's a lot of plastic. They're not actually wood. Light fixtures do work. And as you go through the big hall, the main hall, you come into the big dining room. Or sitting room. This is where it all happens. This is where you want to live. This is where you aspire to live if you're on Emmerdale. But one thing that's really important is this. This is like the Truman Show. See the Truman Show? You think this is their big garden, the landscape? <gasps> Can you smell the fresh air? No, it's all a set, it's all painted. Can you believe that? Ah, let's go. Keep going through my humble abode after you. Staircases that don't go anywhere. You can actually jump off sets on and off, though uh, I don't know if I should. <laughs> so let's go to the Dingles. You know you want to see them. I think we're down here. I feel like Annika Wright. Look at this. This is the place everybody wants to see. Now they're tweaking lights at the moment, so uh, you'll have to bear with me. It's actually as grimy as it looks in here. One nice story about the Dingles is that they get a lot of viewers and they have a lot of people that love them. And, and this in particular, this was knitted by a, a lady who was 100 years of age, and she knitted this especially for this particular chair and character. And uh, they use it on the set. Gave her a photo. Nice touch. So as you can see in there, it's quite grimy and grisly. And that's all authentic. So everything you see is like the family would be. You know, they have their windowing, they have their pots, their pans. They've got their lentils. They have everything. This is their bar, fireplace. You know, it really gives that element that you're involved and you're in the characters. And I think that's another reason why Emmerdale works. Has been on TV for years. Spitbot. It's a little dark around here, okay? But to have a quick look over there. <gasps> no, that's for next time round. Over here is Marlon's house. And there's many secrets about set that you don't know and we don't know. But one thing we do know for sure is this is a normal teddy, right? Yeah, the crew time's just a little bit nasty and a little bit <gasps> dirty. Yeah, so when they're bored, you've got to keep an eye on them. Especially when there's, you know, chalkboards or if they've letters. Sometimes they like to write dirty messages on the fridges. But, you know, that's the way it goes on TV land. Let's go over here. Val and Diane live over here, as you many times have big bust-ups that kill each other in here. And this is their whole space, which is a lot smaller, actually, when you actually get into it. But real furniture. Let's have a look in here. This is the back of the Woolly, where it all happens. This is where the drinks are made. It's really unique because, you know, you see all these? There's nothing in them. Crazy. Vodka? There's no vodka. Oh, but there's one thing that is real, is the beer. They can't fake it, so they got to make it. Yep. Though today, they don't have any real beer, it's just water. But normally, all the actors have to drink beer and gauge it as they measure it down. What's great about this as well is, lots of the drinks that you see, there's nothing in them, they're just painted glass. And each measure is filled up every single day, every day, so that when the actors get their rolls and their shots, they have the right amount to drink. Cash registers work, there's clocks and pictures, every part of memorabilia, plus authentic beer mats with Emmerdale written on them. Great. The bar moves right out, the dartboards moves right out, so it gives lots of space for camera crews to get in and out. And of course, the dingles always sit there, as you well know. And this is the snug over here. So it's been a great tour. I don't know, all that's left to say is, I better get last orders here at the Woolies.